Louis. Hey, hey. Good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here, boys. Hey, Mr. Stanley. How are you, sir? How's today going? Hello. Hello, hello. How far you good? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> mm, kind of. Kind of what happens, sir? Uh, it has been a really hard day. Oh, a stressful one? Uh, kind of, a little bit. A little bit. So much uh, music production. Um, I would say that yes, and also I saw, uh, saw the beat. And oh. it has been to be waiting the the sing the singer by a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And now I'm really tired, but uh, just give me one moment and I'm going to get energy. Yeah, so you can bring a cup of yeah, coffee, so. whatever that works for you. For me, it's fine. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Yeah, right? I would like to prepare a coffee for me as well. Oh, you can do it. Don't worry. That's okay for me. Do you like um, coffee? Yes, I'm a coffee holic by heart. I see. I know that Ay, some people prefer tea <laughs> instead of coffee. Uh, basically, no, I love both. That's but, nice. <laughs> yeah, but I prefer the tea that is natural, no, that comes with the with the flower, with the herbs. Sometimes it's not possible, right? Uh, you have to buy it at the store, at the supermarket, the little tea bags, right? But it's um, if I can uh, afford it, and if I can find a, a purple tea or a really natural tea, I'll do it. How do you say avena yep. in English? Oak. Oh. Oak. Oak. I love oak. Oat. I love oak, milk. oak with sugar, with sugar and water. With sugar and water? Well, I prefer milk. Oh. <laughs> but I prefer like uh, what? What do you say that? What kind of milk? No, what's what's the name of that milk? Ah, silk. The silk milk with almond milk. Oh, I see. Almond, yeah. Sometimes it's really hard to find, it, and when you find it, it's a little bit expensive, right? But when when I can find an offer, oh, I buy it. Hey, you know what? I thought. So how was your date this year? What? How was my date? Oh. Oh, pretty tough. <laughs> pretty tough as, as well. Always, Hello. Good evening. Is it usual to be a tough day for you? Yeah, it is a tough day for me. Today, yes. It's a tough day, and it had been a sad day as well. Okay, so it Why was sad? Uh, sad. more tough than usual. Yeah, sad because a friend of mine, well, a friend of our family, actually, he was, she was like, a, all right, oh, let me check. I think 75 years old and she recently got, uh, she celebrated her 50th anniversary with his, with her husband. You mean 50th, right? No, 25, 50th. Can you imagine? Yeah. That, that's a whole journey. But she passed away today in the morning. Really? Yeah, she was diabetes. She has uh, some problems, you know, with diabetes. Like uh, when you have it, like it try to like, uh, well, affects your entire battery, right? Progressively. So yeah. they uh, took her yesterday to the MQ. Is and then they, all the tests that they were supposed to. It was everything is fine. She uh, her husband said that woke up really early morning at five a.m. And then she, she go back to sleep and he falls asleep as well, right? They were like two old, old, old people. And uh, well, she, he wakes up, he tried to do everything that he could. Uh, and um, before 10 a.m., she was on, on the bed, but she passed away. She wasn't sleeping and she never wake up. Um. Yeah, so well, at, at least it was good because she didn't suffer, right? But um it was really painful because, uh, uh, to be honest with you, that's the last last person I ever thought that it will pass away. I have a lot of another friend that has problems, right? Uh, all friends, of course, all people. I love all people. I, I I hang out with them a lot. Yeah, because you can learn a lot from the old people. You they can transmit your the wisdom that they do have. Uh, but she passed away today. Around eight, 
30 a.m. in the morning? No, no, around 9, I think. So that's why it was really sad for me. Because so sorry. Like, thank you. Because last week, and you know what? I have seen her in uh, through Zoom, right? Of course, because we had a meeting. Uh, so um, I saw her last Sunday. I mean, it was two days ago. And now yeah. she's gone. Yeah. So it's like, what? I was really like, oof. As of right now, I cannot imagine. I, I don't. I don't believe it. But it happens. And we got away because she has a a, sis, um, a daughter that she lives in Panama with uh, her husband. So I think they are going to prepare her just for wait for the other girl because they have to like do like the COVID test in order for they to be able to come to El Salvador. So they have to wait for them as well. At least it wasn't nothing related to COVID. I think it was something related with the, with her diabetes. Sorry, so, about yeah. to hear that. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so, I'm still shocked, you know? I do not believe it. But, you know, life is like that. Life is like, like a cloudy day. Right now where we'll be talking and tomorrow we'll be like, no talking anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, and, and it doesn't respect ages, right? <laughs> Social studies and everything. No, no way. You know what? We expect like um, that all people like pass away, and but sometimes the fathers had to like face that the kids have passed away before them. So, and in this case, it was the, the natural way, but we didn't we, one that had happened to her. Can you imagine? And last week they were celebrating the 50th anniversary. Well, at least yeah. they finished with the 50th anniversary. And she was a really lovely, lovely woman. She loved to cook. Oh, you cannot imagine, Alex. Oof, that was yeah. so delicious, every meal that she cooked. Woohoo! Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. She loves flowers. Uh, also, she loves animals. She has been adopted recently, a little cat. His name was Michi. <laughs> So, Michi, yeah, yeah, she loved them. She really cares about everybody. So, I will, I will, really, I will miss her a lot, a lot. But what else we gonna do, right? Life yeah, goes on. Way. We gotta move on. Yeah. So that's why it was really sad, because today, and imagine, in my 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 work is really stressful as well. So like, when I received that that uh, news, to be honest with you, I had to stop because I couldn't concentrate. I was like, like in a moon <laughs> for around, I think more than one hour. Because of course it's like, a, it's like you would never expect that to receive that um, news really early morning. Like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I had to go on. So that's the second, that's the second friend that I lost this year. And it was old one as well. Can you imagine? Two old people that I lo that I loved and respect, they pass away. Sorry, teacher. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, I'm so Irina. sorry, Silvia. Yeah, it was Good one evening. of my dear friends. So yes. long, but we gotta go. We gotta move on. Yeah. Yes, the, the life continues and we have to do our best exactly exactly behave be nice and help each other when yes. you can right we 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 need to change uh, the the way that we are mm -hmm. and sometimes we are um kind of hard people mm -hmm. and and now now you don't know what happened tomorrow yeah that's true that's definitely truth so we better behave and change things that we can do, right? And try to be better with uh, the other people, with the human being, but also try to improve our relationship with God. That is really, really important as well. Yes. I think that it was the most important thing, right? No matter where your beliefs, right? Or where you go. Yeah. 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 That's true. Mm -hmm. But And you know what? Every, that's why every time, guys, that I hear with you face to face and I see you guys like uh, even though you're like tired maybe or like Stanley like, like he's like 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. But also Alex, right? That most of the class he's like, mm. but I know it's not because he doesn't want to speak with me. It's because no of way. course, of course, he has a really tough date. But every time, guys, <laughs> that I see you log in uh, into the class, I'm happy. I'm happy not only because um, you let me transmit a little of, of the knowledge that I have, but also I'm happy because you are alive. And that's what makes me feel really, really happy that you're alive. That you're still Thank with you. me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah, you. that's why I'm so happy to see you guys. When you are not there, okay, I, well, I'm trying not to be like the school teacher, like, what happened? Why you didn't come? Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not trying to be like that because, of course, we are like adults, right? We're no teenagers anymore, except for Mr. Stanley, right? That he's like the youngest one, right? And Mr. Hernandez as well. Um, but uh, it's sometimes by any chance you just saw a message that I sent it to you. It's not that I want to bother you. It's because I care about you as a human being as well. As I said at the first time that we saw each other, we are a team, we're a family, we're friends. So if, if something happens, like, oh my God, I want to know at least that you're okay, right? <laughs> so that's why I text yeah. you sometimes, okay? It's not that I don't want to bother you. It's because I care about you. That's the reason why. Okay, so I'm telling you in advance, I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable, okay? And don't get in trouble with the husbands or the wives, okay, of course. <laughs> I'm no. just teasing you that, yeah, very good. So you see, I have Marito that he wasn't here yesterday, but I'm so happy that you're here today. Yes, I miss, I miss his smile also, and also his basketball also activities. Yeah, I have Mr. Lewis. He was the first one. Also, Stanley. I thought it will be only three sessions here. Like, yeah, but then appear Mr. Alex. And then we have Marito. And then we have Paquito. And then we have Irina, Danny, uh, Carito. Hey, Carito, finally. Yesterday, I didn't, I didn't uh, see you, but now I, I can't. Mr. Kirvin. I cannot see Kirvin. I only see his Mr. Cat looking for a Wi-Fi ride. And also, Kalena, I'm so happy because it's the second time in a row that you're still with us. <laughs> second day, and I was like, yay! Yeah, so that's amazing. I'm so happy. And guys, by the way, I remember that I left you on homework. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, Marito's face, like, what? <laughs> ah, Marito. But at least, uh, hopefully, you have checked the video. Hopefully. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if not, you're in trouble now. I'm just kidding. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Carito, right? No, me too. Ah, Irina. Irina, <laughs> yeah. don't be so mean. All righty, guys. Yesterday, who can help me or also uh, make a review so Marito will be in like the same space, right? What we saw yesterday, do you remember, guys? Mm. We're talking about favors. Yeah, favors. Favors that we are agreeing, right, to accept, but favors that we're not agreeing, just like, hey, do you remember <laughs> some of the favors that we dislike somebody else to ask us? <laughs> uh huh. Who remember that? Who remember what a Stanley said? That was really funny. <laughs> uh huh. Babysitting. Oh, the babysitting, no, uh, yeah, that is one of the things that not most uh, of the people like. That was Alex. That was, and no, Alex, Alex, he accept that because he, he had care about a child, right? Yeah, your your friend child. But Stanley mentioned something that most of the people doesn't like it. <laughs> when, you run out of, when you are run out of... Um, uh-huh the, the, the toilet the toilet with paper, toilet paper. <laughs> yeah and you gotta go right someone, to the store you, you ask to someone to to <laughs> to reach your all uh -huh. and you gotta open the bathroom and guess what you're like early, <laughs> right so they uh, give it away like throw it and then it goes at it as soon as possible right there yeah. you know that was true that was true yes Look what had happened Alex, with your child. To uh -huh. ask someone to go find some newspaper. Uh huh. <laughs> exactly. Also, there's somebody else said, I don't know, it was Carito or Irene. Irene, I think that she said that um, uh, she hates when she uh, laying on on her bed, right? That somebody called, hey, can you pick me up, right? Remember that? Like, yeah. 
Was Daniela. Ah, was Danny. Was Danny. Yeah. Oh, yes. You see, very good. You were paying attention. Yeah. Hey, and do you remember uh, one last? A, uh huh. There was a short tale from Pepito, I guess. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was the. the... <laughs> Come on, Paquito. Shame on you. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, but that's oh amazing. <laughs> hey, what about, hey, do yeah. you remember who said that hates washed dishes? It was Carito, I guess. Carito, was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? Why? Was the lady who, she has to use the, the gloves. Because ah, her, her hands. Her hands, her yeah. hands exactly. Mm -hmm. Are allergic with any kind of uh, soap products all righty and also somebody said that <laughs> and she hates when somebody asks her to cook but that girl is not here yet mm -hmm. uh -huh. do you remember who said that no well, was ernestina. no 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 it was not ernestina it was mariana mm -hmm. <laughs> yes marianita hey and also guys uh, well, that was like the, the flavors that we didn't like somebody asks to uh, to do, but do you remember which ones we were talking about that we are, that we'll be willing to accept? Mm -hmm. For example, if somebody asks you to pick up the groceries, right? Yeah. Yes. What else? Babysitting, right? Lend you, lend you money? No, right? No. No. <laughs> no, I think everybody said no way. Okay. What about uh, fix the computer? Yes. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. There was another one. Treat to the movie, right? Yeah. Oh, and so use, their, yeah. use their phone. Aha. Uh -huh. But and also, uh -huh. go ahead. To move, new apartment. To move, to move uh -huh. a, new, a new house or a new apartment. Exactly. <laughs> when somebody asks you, hey, give me a hand, I'm going to move to a new apartment or a new house, right? You're willing to help, right? Yeah, very good. Okay. Yeah. Buy me a coffee. Exactly. Oh, yes, Danny. And I think Amilcar said, I do that if you are set to go with me and have a cup of coffee, right? Because it's better to have it uh, with a company that alone. He was <laughs> asking somebody invitation, right? Like in a smooth way. <laughs> All right. Very good. But now, guys, also we saw many ways to ask for or to request, right, for a favor. Do you remember them? Which one we saw? We, we saw three things or three ways to do that. Anybody remembers? Models, yeah, models. Clothes, and gerund. Very good, Carito. Yeah, models, F classes, and gerunds. Exactly. A, do you remember uh, uh, what about uh, models? Can somebody give me an example? Can I borrow your pen? Yeah. I, I, you know what? I think Mr. Alex is looking on the WhatsApp, you know? No. <laughs> no. You, 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 oh my god! My memory. Oh my goodness! My That's mind. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just Can I borrow your pen? You know what? I got. I love your uh, intonation. That's cool. That's awesome. Excellent. <laughs> Can I borrow your pen? Very good. That's what he said to his wife right before he got married. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and look at his son, boy. By the way. Ooh, ooh, very good. Alrighty, Carito. Another one. Uh, model. Yeah, with model, please. It could be, uh, can you lend me some money, please? Can you lend me some money? That would be good, yeah. So we you use can, but we also use another model. Do you remember that? Anybody? Anybody? Could. May I? Could. Could. Very good. Could. Can I have a question with could? Stanley? Hey. Um, this is one favor that you are going to ask if you are going to work in a call center, for example. Okay. Uh, May I have your name? May I have your name? Yeah, that's one of them that also Paquito, I think he asked for that, right? May I? But also you said, could I, right? Could I? Or could I have your yeah. name? Yeah. Okay, cool. So do, do you remember, guys, that, thank you, Stanley, with can and could, do we use the uh, the verb in the past, present, or future? I have present. one. Present, very good. Okay, you have one, Luis, go ahead. Uh, could you please turn it down a little bit? Could you please turn it down a little bit? Aha, uh -huh. thank you so much for giving that uh, that sentence. Guys, may I ask you, if we use the word please, which well, Lucito already have uh, used it, do we put it in the middle or we put it at the end of the question? The end. 
At the end. At the end, Luisito. So do it, do it again, please. The Could same question. Turn it down a little bit. No, again, don't use please in the middle. Use please at the end of the question. Ah. Uh huh. Turn it down a little bit, please. No, you have to ask her favor. Oh. Because you said turn it down, is it, it is like a, like an order, like a command, like an imperative. Uh, uh -huh. May I ask you a favor? May I ask you a favor, or could I, or could you use could? The same sentence, but you use could, please. Could I ask you a favor? Could I ask you a favor, please? Right, like that. Uh huh. So if you use please at the end of the question, why you? If you're writing something, guys. What is the punctuation that you got to put before, please? Coma. Coma. Yeah, never forget that. You got to separate it by coma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, never forget the question mark at the end of the sentence or the question in this what, case. What happens yeah. if you say, uh, do me a favor, please? Do me a favor, please. Uh, you're not asking exactly. Well, you can do that but you are not making a request with models or gerunds or if clauses. So that depends if you are with, your, uh, with a close person or mm -hmm. your close uh, friend, you can yeah. make a, a better, uh, like a more, Yes, go ahead. Yeah, you can, you can make a question or you can make a, or you can ask for a favor in a polite way. Yeah. That's, it that's it. Exactly. Do we remember right that yesterday we saw that can and could are the less formals and we yeah. ended up on the, I was wondering if, if I could, right? That was the That's most the formal. Much. So when you said, Marito, do you, or do you, do you like something? Do me, do me, do, do me, me a favor. Do me a favor. Me a favor. Me, it's like, um, it's, it feels more it's like if you are, yeah, uh -huh, like you do me a favor, and that means uh, you're going to do me a favor, like, right? Like the person, uh, like yeah, you, yeah. you are the not person, asking for a favor. If you are ordering for a favor. Yeah, you could do it on a, a, a somebody that is close to you. Yes, of course, that it is. That is true. But you cannot uh, ask that that way to a person that is not a close friend. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah because Irina, Irina said that if you have, if you put that expression or make that expression to somebody that you just first met or you are not close friends, it will feel like, okay, if he's asking me something or like, he's like um, demanding me to do something in a soft way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that's why we learned that because uh, uh, you can do it or you can ask that that way to somebody who you really know. Like your friend, right? Like, oh, oh so can, your family, but nobody to a stranger. Yes, go ahead, Irina. Uh, then we can say that this is an polite way to ask for a favor. Yes, yes, because I, I, I teach you yesterday, I taught you yesterday, um, polite ways to say it from the less mm -hmm. formal to the more formal. Mm -hmm. You can do it like a marito asks for, but it's not, it's, it is if you really have a close relation with that yes. person. If not, no. For more polite, you can add the mind, right? Do you yes, mind? Yes, exactly. Do you mind? Remember, now we're talking about the if clauses. Would you mm -hmm. mind if? Or yes, or do, do you mind? mind? Yes, you're right. If you want to use a do, like Marito, for example, uh, the example that Marito did, also you, you have to put do you mind if. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you but mind? You can mix it, sir. Yes, for you can example, mix it. Mm -hmm. If you say, you say uh, to mm -hmm. a coworker, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do me a favor, could you please pass me the pen or that pen? It's a polite way. Or yes. It's a different way. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. Uh, the, the reason, there's many ways to ask for requests, guys. But what I teach you right now, uh, or what I taught you yesterday, is the best way to do it and the more polite way to do it. You can do it, but you gotta be careful with the ways that you say it or the, the tone of voice, the phrases, the words, etc. For example, let me give you an example. This is not a request. This is like a word that many people use in the United States, which is the word ma'am, ma'am. When you're referring to, to a lady, right? A lady who is not single, who is already married, okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, mm -hmm. Yeah, you said ma'am. But I can say, hey, ma'am, and it's polite. 
could I could I bring you something to drink, ma'am? Well, you go to a restaurant, right? For example. But if I say, hey, ma'am, you see, oof, like what's going on? <laughs> it's exactly the same word, but depends on my tone of voice, I can make the other people feel comfortable or uncomfortable. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And also, guys, let me let you know, I don't know if you really know about that, but the word ma'am, ma'am, yeah, ma'am, like that, ma'am. Uh, basically, that word, you know what, that is like, uh, this word comes from the, from French, you know, mm -hmm. from French, because in French, when a woman is already married, it is uh, called madame, mm -hmm. madame, right? Yeah. So basically, uh, this is part of like the, the people that has a black, the black color people, the black ones, yeah, yeah? they, they have to like, uh, got that word and convert it or transform it in a way that they can use it in the in the slam English, right? Mm -hmm. So basically they transform that word for ma'am, it comes from madame, okay? Mm -hmm. Madame yeah. is, is in English, a girl that is already married. Yeah, it's madame. In mademoiselle, it is comes yeah. from a girl that is single, right? Mm -hmm. Or in French it's celibataire. Okay, so now you know. You see, you already learned some no, history. I, I How is it French, teacher? What? Could you please repeat French? F French. Uh, French. Yeah. Which one? French. Uh, a single Both? lady. The single lady is a. Who's uh, called? Uh, Mademoiselle. Okay. Mademoiselle. Mm -hmm. a, a married lady is Madame. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you if you say somebody that is married, you say marié. If, if you said something, somebody that is single, you said célibataire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Célibataire, nice. uh, man or woman, right? Married, ma marié, man or woman. Okay. Okay. Et monsieur, yeah, monsieur, it is a man that is already married, like Alex, for example, Paquito, Marito. But monsieur. in the case of a Stanley, that is, he's still single. <laughs> It is garçon. Garçon. <laughs> and also you can call garçon when you go to the restaurant. And you said, instead of you asking the waiter or the waitress, the, the waiter, you said garçon, garçon. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I nice. know. It's, you use a lot of your throat here. And when you have a call, you better speak French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. es especially in the morning with, with eggs and right? beans <laughs> uh, just kidding so now you know you already now you learn part of history of a word man right? yeah, i know um mm -hmm. you know i'm sorry i was i was wrong when they when i i heard somebody i heard somebody to refer to i uh, said say that word the mom i told refer i told they referring to mom no you know mom. it's not it's not mom it's when man Ma'am, yeah, well, ma'am, mm -hmm. yeah. ma'am. But, no, but some of the guy, the, the pronunciation is a little, mm -hmm. and, and I was, you know, I was, I was confused. I thought, yeah, I was, I thought they referred to mom. What about now? Oh, that is mom. You see, mom, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. But they, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But now is it, is it much better? Is it clear? Difference. Yeah, yeah. And now you know the history. Where the yeah. words comes from, like in Spanish, guys, we have a lot of Spanish words that we use that they're not uh, Latin. They come from different countries. Sofa, for example, that is Arabic. Canape, the place when you lay down when you go to a psychiatrist, right? That yeah. is a that is a, a French word. So that things happens in English. There are words with some words that they are not physically or like originally from English. They come from a different country and they have been adapted. In that case, is ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Ma so now you know a lot of history. You see, you learn something new every day. Yes. There you go. So, guys, continue with our conversation about favors, right? Also, we saw another um, another expression. Uh, would you mind if, right? Hey, guys, what yeah. happened when I use would you mind if? The verb. Do I use it in past, present, or gerund? Past. Yes, in past. Past. In past. May yeah. I have an example, please? Would you mind if it brought off uh, part of your your new camera? Eh? Very yeah, exactly. Very good. If I borrowed, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. What happened if I do not use if and I said, would you mind? Is it is it change? Yes. Yeah. It yeah. It changed for what? For uh, a gerund. For a gerund. Gerund. Exactly. Gerund. For example, that like the Alex friend, would you mind babysitting my boy for this Saturday? My, my kids. Yeah, yeah your kids. And I say, kids. okay, bring them. <laughs> right. Okay. Very yeah, good. Right. But just for, for one hour, eh? For one hour. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta be on time. Salvadorian clock? No, British hour, please. Okay, what about yeah. I was wondering if? What is exactly that expression? That was a little bit different, right? Mm -hmm. I was wondering if, if I could. I could borrow. If I could what? I was wondering if you can. For example, I was yes. wondering if you can return this book to the library for me. Very good. That's uh, excellent. Yes, I was wondering. You remember that, uh, that Alex said, eh, I'm not going to do that uh, That request, teacher, with your ton of boys. Like, remember, like, uh, like uh, Marito, like when, you, when your kids, <laughs> for example, finish their homework and they said, hey, Daddy, well, I was wondering now that I finished my homework, if I can watch the TV. Remember that, yeah. Yes. So, so it's like more for that polite and seduced oh, way right. to ask for a favor. Remember that? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, have you seen that those expressions, Marito, or those requests that the kids have made to you, right? When they want something, the yeah, All they the exactly the they do that in like soft way, right? Exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, so I yes, go ahead, Marito. Uh, for example, uh, my son mm -hmm. always says, uh, Daddy, I was wondering that if I finish my homework, I can use the computer. Yeah, uh -huh. you see, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're making a request in a really soft and polite way to, to obtain what they need, right? Uh -huh. so, to, so, Marito, basically, re, uh, based on everything that we have spoken right now in this cause and review, I left these guys uh, six sentences. They were like, I think it was only one question, right, guys, in five sentences in total, that basically they were like in a normal way. And I asked them mm -hmm. to try to transform those sentences the best that they can in order to make them request. I remember that. They can use gerunds, they can use models, they can just um, if clauses, whatever. And do you remember, guys, what was the first one that we were looking for? I remember them. Ah, this one. This is yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let me check. Uh, Carito. Some money, yeah. uh, no, no, it was not that one. Carito, can you please read for me the first sentence, like the, the way it is? Like the way it is, okay. without switch it. Okay, just give me one minute. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course, of course. You got to be ready. I want everybody to pop it up your WhatsApp, please, guys. Because okay. I will ask you it, okay? Very good. The first sentence says, mm -hmm. lend, me some, lend me some money for a soda. Aha, uh -huh. that is like, you see, if you use lend me some money for a soda, that is an imperative, right? Yeah. Why? Because remember that imperatives, we use the verb at the beginning, right? Lend me. That means I'm giving you an order. So, <laughs> I, so how can you transform that uh, sentence into a request, Carito? Um, could you lend me some money for a soda, please? Aha, uh -huh. and do me a favor. Who you're going to ask that request? Who you want to, to answer that question to you? Who? Pick your classmate, any classmate. Pick them. Irina. Irina. <laughs> Irina. <laughs> All right. Irina. I was wondering if, if, you, if uh, you no. say my name. Aha, uh -huh. you know what? <laughs> and, and, and you got to write. Okay, so answer, please. Okay, do me a favor, Carito. Again, ask that favor to Irina, please. Okay. Irina, could you lend me some money for a soda, please? Oh, look at of her course, face. Of course, Carito. I could do. Ah, I would do anything for you, my dear. <laughs> I really wanted a soda. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very good. Oh, my but God. I'm, I'm just going to give you virtual now because I can give you. Um, no. Um... <laughs> you, you, can, you can send it to Tigo Money. Come on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you see, hey, yes, the teacher, teacher is helping you. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, thanks, teacher. <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. You see? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Now, Irina, what about you? The second one, please. Okay. Let me see. Hold on a moment. 
Ah, uh, and I think Carito is the one that she uses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, the second is I wondering. I wondering. If no, you... just read it like the way it is. Okay. Yes. Return this book to the library for me. Yeah. Return these books to the library for me. Okay. Transform mm -hmm. that into a request, please. Uh, I was wondering. I was <laughs> wondering if you can return these books to the library for me. All righty. And who's going? Who you you are going to ask that favor? Uh, to who? To Kalena. Kalena. Okay, Kalena. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. You can accept. Who asked me? Ah, uh, Irina. Irina. Hello. <laughs> hello I'm Kalena. glad to help you. Okay. Ah, oh my God. She's <laughs> nice. Of course, I can return your oh, books to the library. She's Thank so you big. So much. Yeah, she's a big loving heart. It's on oh, my way. Okay. Oh my God. You see. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my she's gosh, she's a really nice one. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, I, Alex. I, I, I did uh, this way. Would you mind returning these books to the library for me, please? Yeah, that's good. You, why you said returning? It's okay, it's okay because you, you, yeah, you don't use the if. Remember? Yeah. If you yeah, don't use yeah. the if, you gotta put in the ing. If you use the if, you gotta put in the past. So that's yeah. good. That's good as well. Okay. Excellent. Kalena. Now it's your okay. turn. What about number three? Can you three. please read it? Yes, read it like the way it is. Yes. Let me borrow your math homework. Okay. Do me a favor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you ask that question or that request to, to Marito? Marito? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah you do of it, right? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You knew that I'm going to ask you that. Okay, cool. I know he's going to say no. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to ask. Uh, Go Marito, ahead. Could you let me borrow your math homework? Did I, that there is okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't do it. Oh. Uh, at least he's honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very <Thank> good. <laughs> or, Excellent. The, uh, he's very polite. polite way, it's uh -huh. a very polite way to say no. To say no. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> exactly. Like, no. <laughs> Okay, yes. very good, Marito. Uh, Alex, what about you? Number four, please. Number four. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to, to borrow your cell phone to call my friend in London. Okay, huh. that is like, <laughs> okay, now transform that sentence into a request, please. Anyway, you can use model, leave clauses, whatever, gerunds. Uh, Remember that little girl? I was wondering if you. Uh huh. I was wondering if I. Yeah, go ahead. If you liked. If I can, if I can borrow, oh, I was wondering. If I remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was wondering if, if I can use, if okay. I can borrow your cell phone to call my friend in London. Right? Very good. Who you're going to ask that favor? Uh, to who? So, to whom? Uh, this, uh, what, what is his name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. Sergio Kirby, uh, pa Stanley? Pa Paquito. Pa yeah, Paquito, pa okay, Paquito, answer him, please. Yes, you can. Oh my Anytime god. Oh, oh is he's a big hand, right? Oh right. he's an open hand man. Yeah. It was, it was <laughs> yeah, so roaming. So cheap. Yeah, just roaming, exactly. Very roaming. good. Uh -huh. That's good. <laughs> Very he, good, Paquito. He has a, a lot of uh, international friends. Of course, you know, yes, of course. Know said, yeah. <laughs> okay. Paquito, read for me question sentence number five, please. No, that is a question, sorry. Yes. Uh, can I look at the magazine where you finish reading it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, yeah, we can see that is a request, but I want you to transform it in a better request. So that okay. means you can't to use is could, it, would. Is it okay mm -hmm. if I look at the magazine when you finish reading it? Very good. Who you're going to ask that question or that favor? Okay. Gustavo, Lenny, Danny, Stanley, 
Kervin. Okay, I think I will ask to Danny. Uh, Lenin. 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 Mr. My God. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay Lenin. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I have to repeat it? Yes, please. Uh, yes, repeat it, please. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, Lenin, is it okay if I look at the magazine when you finish reading it? Ah, yeah. I almost finished, so can you bring with you when you want? Oh, oh, oh my God, he's so polite. Thank you very much. <laughs> very good, excellent. Now, uh, 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 um, Lenin, now it's your turn. Okay. The last one, number six, Lenin. Can you please read it like uh, the way it is? I'm wondering if you could help me clean the house before mom and dad get home. Very good. Who you're going to ask that favor? Stanley, Luis, Gustavo, Danny? It's Stanley. 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 <laughs> no, Stanley. Okay, okay. Um, and sure. That's why the friends are for. Oh, oh that's okay. what friends are for. Thank you. All right. <laughs> In good times and bad times, right? Oh my goodness. It, it, is, it is like it is like the song of two two American girls trying to speak Spanish. Ayuda, tengo muchos deberes. Why? My <laughs> tone of voice or yours? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Two two girls. It was a it was a YouTube video. But you know what? That is not a that is original song, you know. Really? Or, yeah, Stevie Wonder, uh, Ronda Rudolph, uh, Whitney Houston, and there was another girl. Oh my God, I, I forgot that lady. But it's a also black lady from the from the eighties. I'm gonna remember. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I will search for that and I will send it to you. Okay, to the WhatsApp because that is a that is a song. Do you know Dion Warwick? No. Yeah. Oh, she's singing. Ah, but I will let That's you know which, which one it is. Uh, let me I, know what I got uh, I got the video here, right here. If I, if I can show you. That's my friend. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Please. OK, OK. I don't know if are you Hola. Hola. Ayúdame. Por qué? Mi mamá me dio muchos quereseres. Yo te ayudo. Ayúdame. Yo tengo muchos quereseres. Ayúdame. Oh, my God. Está, está sucia. Ayúdame. Yo okay, tengo okay, okay. muchos quereseres. Ayúdame. Oh, my God, Sally. Porque mi casa es... They are, they are American girls. Really? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> And they're trying to speak Spanish. It's, it, I... I... I pictured that it maybe it was a, a homework mm -hmm. of the Spanish class and they mm -hmm. recorded that. But it's really funny. So it's uh, funny. <laughs> help me. Tengo muchos que hacer. <laughs> that's amazing. But that's good. Thank you so much for sharing, Stanley. I didn't know that, you know, but it's cool. And I think they didn't do the, the homework correctly because they, they pronounce it in Spanish very good, I can say. Yes. Yeah, All right. Okay, guys, I sent it to you. You can you can watch uh, that video, listen to that music uh, at the end of the class. It's for Diane Warwick, Steve Wonder, Whitney Houston, and Ludwig Van Drotz. That is exactly, that is, a, that is a, a, a song. That's what friends are for. This is really pretty, pretty, pretty lovely song. Hopefully you love it. Okay, guys, excellent okay. job. So now I will share with you something else. And I'm gonna send it to you another thing for homework. But for guys, today, what I want to emphasize and to work with you basically will be the listening part, but also the pronunciation. Okay, I'm gonna we're going to focus right now on the pronunciation of some um, favors of some questions. For example, guys, there will be some things or sometimes. When we need to, when we're going to express a favors, but there will be some words that we're going to use, like T sounds, D sounds, K sounds, G, P, and B, right? That I want you guys to uh, pay attention to that and notice when you have those letters followed by another consonant sounds. Sometimes, guys, you write it, but 
you do not pronounce them, okay? And I want you guys to try to listen to that and to practice that because that's the way you're going to like not only speak well, but at the same time, try to um, sound like more native speakers, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. First of all, I'm just going to share only the, um, the audio. And then I'm going to share right now with you the writing information, okay? Just for you to read and at the same time listen. And then we're going to practice the pronunciation, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Cool. Page 18. Can you listen? Yes, right? Okay. In yes. exercise four, pronunciation. Unreleased consonants. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k, g, p, and b are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? Okay, one more time. One more time or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Page 18, exercise four, pronunciation. Unreleased consonants. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k, g, p, and b are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? Aha, uh -huh. okay. That was really tricky, right? Okay, I'm gonna share right now with you that. And I'm gonna play it one more time. Then we're gonna practice our pronunciation, okay? Because for me, it's really important that you practice that. Let me check. Tell me when, once you receive it. All right, there you go. Okay, I sent it to you guys. Does everybody has it? Yeah? Yes, cool. Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. I'm gonna play the audio one more time yes. and pay attention, right? Especially guys, pay attention to the letters that are bold because those are the sounds that we're practicing right now. Eh? Like d, g, k. Okay, that's what I wanna want you to focus on. Let me just a couple of minutes. Any, any letter, teacher. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Did you play it? Ah, uh, sorry. I thought I I, I shared the screen. <laughs> I didn't share it. No. <laughs> All right. Let me do it again. Page eighteen, exercise four, pronunciation, unreleased consonants, part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k. G, P, and B are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? All right. Okay, who can help me read it? Thank you so much, Paquito. Go ahead. What? <laughs> okay, that's fine. The first one, go ahead, please. Could that take care of my pet spider? Oh, very good. Excellent. Oh, look at his face. Like, <laughs> you see, teacher? <laughs> Excellent, my man. I made it. Yeah, you made it. Excellent. Awesome. All right. Carito, what about you? Number two, please. The second question. Can you ask Bob to help me? Aha, uh -huh, very good. Excellent. Uh, 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 Alex, number one, please. First question. 
The dog take care of my pet spider. Very good. Spider. Spider. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Kalena, number two. Can you ask Bob to help me? Very good. Excellent. Luis, can I have the first question, please? The first question yeah. is, could they take care of my pet spider? Very good. Excellent job. Irina, number two. Second question, please. Irina, Miss Irina, where here I am, are here you? I am, here here I am, the one. Okay, very good. You see, I'm, I'm inspired two. today. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Can you ask Bob to help me? Very good. Excellent. And last but not least, Mr. Lenin, when I have please two, the both questions, please. The both? Okay. Yes, both. Could they take care of my pet spider? Uh huh. Can you ask Bob? Help, help me. Very good. Ooh, ooh. You are awesome, guys. Excellent. Very good job. All right. Now, guys, we're going to do something else. Um, I'm going to uh, send it to you guys. It's, it's like two mini dialogues. No, I'm going to send it to you. And this is going to be a little bit tricky because the words t -k -g -h are not in bold, like the first example that I sent it to you. What you got to do, guys, is that you're going, you need to listen carefully and circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Then we're going to listen and we're going to check, okay? So this one is going to be a little bit tricky. Please pay attention to the pronunciation, guys. All righty. We're, we're developing right now the listening skill, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. I sent it to you. Do you guys receive it? Yep. Yep. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So this is a mini dialogue, two mini dialogues. Pay attention to the k, b, h, those consonants, right? Those sounds, because you're going to circle them. Okay. They are not in bold. So you need to guess which is the word that's supposed to pronounce it like that way. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. And, and, and this time, I promise I'm not going to forget to share the screen with you, okay, guys? <laughs> 18, exercise four, part B. Mm -hmm. Circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations with a partner. One. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. Yes, but can you take it back to Greg tomorrow? Two. Would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bed? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest. Okay. Only one time. <laughs> it's a little bit hard, right? Okay, the first one. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. In that sentence, which letter you have circled? Which ones? Of the D. Which ones? A D. The D? Could. Could. Let different could. Very good. What other one? Book. Book. The K, right? For book. Cool. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And now about the sentence. Letter B. We're still in the dialogue number one. In letter B. Yes, but I can, but I can take it back to the Greg tomorrow. That one, which ones you have circled? Which were, which letters? Yeah. Help, help mm -hmm. move. Take, Greg. Take back, mm -hmm. Greg. Okay, very good. And in the second uh, dialogue, guys, letter A, which one you have circled? Mind. Mind or just the D? Just the D. D. Just the D. Okay, what else? Uh, D. Would G a given? Uh huh. No, Albert T. Mm, Albert, Albert, yes, but mm -hmm. given, no, given, no, but mm -hmm. Albert, yes, Albert, yes, okay, yeah, the T, yes, and in okay. that one, big, help. help, help, move, help, yeah, the P, yes, the P, the P, yes, what about the big, the G in big, yeah, big, yes, mm -hmm. bed, and those are the D in bed, bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. very good, and what about letter B in that one, which one you have circled, the said, Said, oh, but, the D. 
Yeah, but the first. But the T? But? Yeah, okay. T. Very That's good. Uh -huh. What else? Rest. Best. Oh, back. rest. The T, yes, in the back. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Ooh, oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. You're so smart, guys. It's that, Dora. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent job. All righty. Now, guys, we're still uh, talking about um, favors, right? This one, um, basically, I'm going to send it to you something really quickly because we're going to listen today, guys, three conversations. It will be co telephone conversation, which Mr. Stanley will be really uh, used to it, okay? So you're going to uh, listen, Tina, Kyle, and Phil. And guys, I want you to, to do me a favor before we move on. Grab a piece of paper. I don't care which one paper it is. Grab a piece of paper and put one, two, three, and put these names. I'm going to give it to you. Tina, Kyle, and Phil. Phil spells P as in Paul, H-I-L. And what I want you to do, guys. One L. Yes, only one L. I want you guys to write down what each caller requests. Okay. And right next to it, I want you guys to put yes or no. And what you're going to do, you need to pay attention if the other person agree to the request or no. Okay. Teacher, could you please repeat me the instructions? Yes, Irene. Okay. okay. Is the, the piece of paper, you're going to divide it in three columns. We can say that. No, okay. four columns. The name of the person, which is Tina, Kyle, and Phil. The okay. second column will be the request. Okay? okay. And then we have the third column, which is going to be yes. And the fourth column could be no. Okay? okay. So you, you get to listen each conversation, each request. And you, I want you to put like a check on the other two if that person agrees about the request or doesn't agree. That's all that I need, okay? okay. So you gotta pay attention to that. We're practicing right now, guys, the listening part, okay? okay? Which is really, really important. And guys, I, why I put you this one? Because I had to be, you had to, uh, you had to concur with me that it's, different when we are like talking right now, like face to face, right? For example, but when you listen to somebody by phone, it's totally different because of many it things, is. right? Because of the accent, because there will be a lot of noise on the environment, whatever it could, could be the reasons, but, or maybe they're like no too um, clear, right? Clear like connection, right? And they were like, the voice to the voice of the people. Uh huh. Exactly. So that's why I tried to put you this kind of exercises for you to like develop your listening skills. So uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me like, whoop. let me raise this, and then I'm going to pop it up another one. Okay, guys. So we're we're good, right? With the with the instructions, that right? Are we good? Irina, any more any more doubts? No? Uh, I guess no, teacher. You guess not. Okay, I cool. So. Okay, guys. So I'm going to share right now the audio with you and pay attention to the three conversations that we're going to listen to. Okay, there you go. 18, exercise five, listening. Favors. Part A. Listen to three telephone conversations. Write down what each caller requests. Does the other person agree to the request? Check yes or no. 1. Tina. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Two, Kyle. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. 
I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. <laughs> Three, Phil. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. guys. So there were three different type of requests, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay, tell me something, guys. Uh, what is exactly the, the request that Tina had been asked for? What is the first one? To borrow the camera. To, borrow to come on the, the camera. camera. For the what? Camera. For what? To tape it to for the new apartment. Uh-huh, exactly. And did she agree with that or not? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. she did, right? Yes, she yes, did. Yes. All right. Yes, what about Kyle? The bread maker, exactly, yes. because she loves to like do a lot of a delicious bread, right? What what happened? Did she for agree with that? For his girlfriend. For his girlfriend. <laughs> 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 so maybe I'm just kidding. All right. And what happened? Did she agree with that or not? No, no. No, because she's broken. No, no because it's broken. But he's a really nice boyfriend that he's going to try to do the best that he can to make his but his own or no. Yeah. 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 No. 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 So what he's no. gonna do? He will go, go to, to the bakery. bakery. Are you see? Okay. <laughs> well, at least he what he's going to spend some money on her, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Very good. Uh -huh. he, but he's going to give something. <laughs> yeah. At least that's good. That's good. Excellent. Uh, amazing. I love bread that is really warm when they are half yeah. finished. Oh, that's amazing. With a little bit Don't of butter. Hungry. You all know anyway. Uh, yes, Lenin. And with a little bit oil, olive oil. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Okay. Mm. Oof. Okay. Continue. I'm going. I'm Don't starving. Speak. Don't speak. <laughs> Don't speak. I know. I'm just kidding. You know what? I don't know. Every you know what? I it, you I, I don't know if you're wondering, guys, but every word that you said, I know uh, a song that, that has a, that yes. word. Yeah? yeah, you like the music. Yes. I love I music by heart. I love music by heart. You cannot imagine. I love any kind of music. I'm a music holic as well. Yeah. And I wish I could play an instrument, but I cannot. <laughs> but my knees can play like three or four instruments, I think. Let me check the last one. What about Phil? What happened with Mr. Phil? What was the request? He's yes. going. Here, Polly. Oh, Hi, Polly. Polly. And, and what is Polly? Is a cat, Polly. a dog, or what? What's a bird? A bird. And did that did the uh, friend accept it or not? Nah? Finally, yes. Yeah, yes. finally, yes, yes, right. But at the beginning, yes, yes. No. <laughs> no. Why no, not? Because she doesn't want, uh, she doesn't because like it's, birds. Uh -huh. Because it's noisy. They are messy and noisy. Uh -huh. But what about we with Polly? Polly is a really different kind of bird, you know? Yes, a very quiet. Yeah, it's okay. and clean and quiet. <laughs> you, yeah, uh, Lenny said, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a parrot, right? I don't know. It's a parrot, it's very noisy. Yeah, okay, so finally she's, she accepted, yes. right? And, and she said, you owe me one. <laughs> yeah. All righty, very good. Okay, guys, so this is going to be your homework, okay? I know that you're a technology girls and boys. So uh, 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 I want you guys, um, well, <laughs> this is going to be so much fun, but I don't know how we're going to do that. Let me check. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You can, uh, if you want to, guys, you, 
you can give uh, each other uh, your emails, email addresses. Okay, if you wanted to, because this is this is what I'm gonna ask you for. Oh, I want you to write an email to a classmate asking for several flavors. And I want you guys to explain why you need help, okay? But if it's possible, if you don't want to do it with your classmate, you can send to a friend, okay? You can send to a friend, you can send to a family member asking for a favor by, by mail. But I don't know, let me ask you guys, does your uh, do your friends or your family members have email addresses or WhatsApp? Yes. What's yeah, up? Both, okay. Both, okay. So let's both. do something else because maybe you're uh, you're no one to give the email because of private things, whatever. So let's do something. Instead of sending emails, I want you guys to because we have the WhatsApp group, right? We have the WhatsApp group and the, everybody's there in the phones. So pick one, pick one member of the WhatsApp, and send a message. Send a message and ask for a favor. And then the people who receive the message, I want you to answer that message and mm -hmm. and said if you're agree or disagree okay but please when you send the message i want you guys to use i was wondering if uh, is it okay if you know what like that okay hey but please don't ask like a strange favors okay <laughs> i have two questions <laughs> be nice oh, yes lenin go ahead first how many uh, how many favors uh, i will be only two don't worry. Two. Only two. Second, do you want a screenshot? And no, because if you're going to send it, well, yes, it would be better because it would be like like sharing that you did your homework, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It would be yes. It would be nice. Oh my God, my cell phone will be really full <laughs> with a lot of screenshots. Uh, only, but I want the, the screenshot guys with the reply. That okay. means. That means uh, if they accepted or refused the invitation, right? Oh, that favor, of course. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions so far? So good. Yeah. No. Yeah? Like no. water, like horchata, yeah. or yeah. like tamarindo. Like tamarindo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Stanley say, I will take my dinner. May I turn I off my camera? Time. No. Oh, that, that's a long time. Oh, yeah. It was, it was delicious, believe me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was an 8.26 a.m., right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what oh, sorry, p.m. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's what I been. That's yeah, why I, you know. Okay, cool. So, guys, it's time to go home. Please have a, a lovely, lovely night. Sweet dreams. Eat well, rest well, and hopefully we can see you tomorrow, okay? Don't forget the homework. Okay. Bye. Good Take night. care. Good night. Good night. Good night.